So we're here in one of our rabbit hunting spots. This one is one of our best spots and I'll show you what we look for when we're rabbit hunting for the best environment for the rabbits to live in. Everything like this right here, these are small trees that have grown up. As you can see, there's logging roads running down through here. These make awesome places to stand for when you're rabbit hunting. But what you want to look for for rabbit territory is all this small cover from where it's been logged. The rabbits need a place to hide it where it's thick. And when it's logged off, all the small growth comes up. And when it's about, oh, I'd say, 6 to 10 feet tall, that's when it's at its best for rabbit hunting. And once it gets grown up too much, they move out because the birds can see them. Here, this is a little pine tree, some sort of pine. But anyways, this is another really good thing you look for. If you find pines grown in right next to each other, really thick, green pines, that is good rabbit territory. So, when we're scouting for rabbit spots in the summer, one thing that we do is it's a lot harder to find them in the summer because you can't see tracks. So you got to look for other signs on the ground. So you look for little gnawings on the trees. Go into the thick spots and look for gnawings, look for rabbit poop. Try to avoid places where there's a lot of deer sign because, I mean, your dog shouldn't run deer anyways, but we all know if they jump one, they probably will. So that's your best bet. Right here is in front of me. You can see this. This, this is all thick pines. Rabbits will hide down in here. A lot of times they'll sit right at the base of a tree, hunker down underneath a branch. But this is a really good place to jump them. Just I scout a new place for the most part. If I know roughly, you know, usually the spots I'm scouting, I've already kind of been in deer hunting or whatever. Um, but I usually bring in my dogs. Just, you know, there's no better telling on how good a spot is other than, you know, letting the dogs work and figure it out. You know, in a spot like that, I mean, I, these logging roads are nice. Logging roads are a big thing as far as rabbit hunting. You could sit right here, shoot up and down these logging roads, and have good shooting lanes and stuff. Whereas if it's thick like that, it's going to be pretty near impossible to shoot rabbits. You're not going to want thick 100%. You're going to want, I mean, given you can do it, it's just going to be a lot harder. But you're going to want some logging roads up and down, different, you know, places to basically shoot the rabbit or watch the rabbit if you're just running it or whatever. Alright, so this is one sign we look for during the summer when we're scouting for rabbits. This is a rabbit chew. Dogs are on a rabbit in the background, but don't mind that. This is a rabbit chew that basically the rabbits just peel the bark off and eat it because they like it. And it's good food for them. Uh, they love popple popple trees that's their main thing they chew on maple sometime and pretty much anything if they're hungry yep. here is some more rabbit juice these are on oak trees small oak trees and you want to find a lot of them in an area I mean if you see one chewing around in the whole spot you know and you really look thorough they might there's places that just hold one rabbit, which is great, but those are the places where your dogs get into trouble. At least mine do. You know, you, for me, I like to have a bunch of rabbits. You know, I shoot a few a year in each spot sometimes, you know, and you want enough of them to make it worth hunting. The things you want to look for when you go, well... First thing, get on your map, find a spot, be that to just travel around, find a spot that looks thick, thick cover on the map. Go there, look, see how it is, find sign, sign you want to look for is um, rabbit poop, gnawings, if you're going there in the winter, look for tracks. Don't go set dropping your dogs in if you find one rabbit track, because I can realistically go into big woods where it's open and find one rabbit track going through there. But, so that's the stuff you want to look for, and then after that, just bring your dogs in.
So if you like, if you like our videos, then hit the like and subscribe button because we're gonna have more videos coming out, and they're gonna we're gonna try to make them even better. Deer hunting, turkey hunting, pretty much everything. Mainly rabbits.